Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. In this video, we're going to be packing out some crickets. We've got our boxes up here. Um, we've yeah, It's been absolutely mental the last uh, few weeks. So yeah, I wanted to actually make a video when we have a decent amount of orders come in just so you can see how we handle a uh, large amount of orders or just huge quantities of crickets leaving the farm and just the, the system we're, we're currently going with. There's obviously probably much, much better ways when you're on a bigger scale, but when you've got two shipping containers and, you know, getting different sizes out, packing them up, small, medium, large, and pinheads, it can be a little bit messy. So we're just gonna show you how we organize everything to make it as smooth as possible. So, all right, let's get into it. First thing we need to do is, obviously we need to have a sip of coffee because it's early and it's absolutely freezing <laughs> over at the containers at the moment. Well, let's just pop our heads outside. It's been raining, which obviously we're super, super stoked with because it's good for our crops. And actually, if you have a quick little look out there, you'll be able to see our new facility that we're building. I'll just quick, give you a quick little look because that's obviously very exciting. We're pretty pumped up about it. This is where we're gonna be building a new shed. Got all the cement foots in. So that is gonna be Pretty cool. Um, I'll make up another video about that where I can talk about that more. But let's get into the actual packing up the crickets. So these are our boxes up here. We just make sure we always have a few over at the container. We keep the majority of the boxes over in our actual work shed. But we also do have a screen printer and I'll show you a little clip of that right now of just like us screen printing some boxes up. Now, we got these boxes here, so I'll just show you how we quickly put them together because you do need to put them together in a particular way because you don't want your crickets getting crushed or um, not making it because you didn't pack your box up properly and then they actually got out of the box uh, during the post, which does happen. So now I'll just show you a quick little clip of us, well, how we actually put the boxes together. So if we've got a small box like this, obviously we have to open it up. We then fold down the edges. I'm just gonna move my coffee or something spill everywhere. So we then hold down all the edges. We've then got a nice little tape gun here, which is super handy because it makes things a lot better. Go across the top, holding it together, snap it off. Making sure we use, we don't really restrict the amount of tape that we use because obviously it'll have it nice and strong as it is. Next time we put it on the edge. Now the reason why we do that is because there's actually these little tiny holes on the corner here where the crickets will pretty much like force their way through, especially if you've got small crickets going out in the orders, they will get through these holes. You can actually see how big those holes are there. We then do the other side as well. My tape just broke down there. Break it off. All right, and then you'll see on the inside, we've actually got some like little flaps here. Now, the crickets will crawl underneath there, and then when the posties pick it up, it like kind of pushes down, and the crickets get crushed, so we want to make sure that everyone gets the crickets that they pay for. The best way to do that, just to tape that one down. So we just get a piece of tape. Put it there, force it down, and that will then just hold this flap down to stop it from flicking up. And you can see that. Just there. Next thing we need to do is then we grab some little egg cartons, which I have to put some more of just up here real quick. We're super lucky. This is a little shout out. We get these from Glenview Poultry. Check them out there for your egg supply. We just get the egg cartons from him, the ones that don't work properly or they've got like a printing label mix on it. So. We then force that in there. Now we secure that, and that's actually the perfect size for these boxes. They don't fall around. Like, I know that some of our other boxes in the past, we've actually had to tape this down to keep it all secure, but obviously these ones don't even move. Like, even when you tip up like that, it doesn't even come out, so it's really, really handy. It forces in there. Right, then the next thing we do, we then fold it down into, I don't know, the two smaller sides, and then we have one in the middle. And we actually tape across here. 
right? And the reason why we do that is because then we have this little middle part here. There's like a bit of tape that goes along the middle here. And then we get a knife and we actually cut down the edges just like that. Right, so then that middle tape is actually free. And we fold that middle tarp tape actually in half. Right, so then there's no sticky bit on it. And the reason why we do that is because when we put the crickets into the box here and we close that down, and we tape across here. And if there's a small gap, then the actual tape um, doesn't have any sticky stuff on it and the crickets don't get up there because then obviously the crickets get up there and they also die because they get stuck to the tape. So that's just one of the ways that we make sure we get all of our, um, well, we make sure we get all the crickets to the people that actually order the crickets. So we normally make up a bunch of um, boxes like this and you can see them all up here just in prep we make them just throughout the week when we've got a spare moment because if you have to come over here and make up boxes beforehand you'll be here at like five o'clock in the morning making boxes to then just pack up all these orders so it's pretty crazy but um, that's what we found is just a really quick way you can normally knock out one of these boxes in like a minute so it's pretty good then after we've made all the boxes or all the boxes been prepared we then have to start looking at what orders are gonna go out of the farm. Now, I was, I actually already filmed this part of the video, but I showed the addresses of the people that we're sending the crickets to, and I obviously can't do that on YouTube. So I have, I'll put it up backwards. We have these sticky uh, piece of paper that have already got the addresses already printed out on it. And we just go through our Shopify website and we actually record um, all of the different grams, or the, where my camera focuses, you can see these are all the amount of orders that we have, each individual um, number is an order, and then we also have just the number underneath the small, medium, large, pinhead, and dried crickets, and that is the amount of weight, and that is in grams, that is going to leave the farm, we then have to, obviously have to record that too on the database there just to keep track of like how many crickets are leaving the farm. But with the weight, it's super easy. So for example, um, if you see here again on the large crickets, these are our large orders that are gonna go out. And with this, we can then just go and grab one of these bins here and we just fill it full of large crickets. And then we can actually come back in here, grab a box and I'll show you the process of using our nice little funnel system to get them into the boxes. Can be a little bit messy because crickets go everywhere, but that's also fine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head in and we're gonna grab some crickets out of the tubs. Now, some of these tubs that I'm about to show you, they can be quite empty because we've been selling the crickets, especially the large crickets. But I'll show you how we do the mediums and the smalls and then also the pinheads because they're super easy to grab. But the larges, because we've been selling larges and they're getting just empty. There's not many crickets in them. So let's get in there now. Okay, now we're in the container and obviously you can see we have a mask and this has actually come about because I've been having a chat with one of our reptile suppliers, Ryan, from um, this here, Fryzy's Reptiles. Obviously you can see the sticker just there, I've got it in the camera, yeah. And um, yeah, he was just talking about like, there's been a few other cricket farmers and insect farmers in the past and after working for like 20, 30 years in the cricket facility or in the actual insect facility, their lungs give out on them and the camera is just going a bit foggy because it is so cold outside and it is so hot in here, obviously, with the crickets. So my camera is just fogging up. Keep that to a minimum, hopefully. And he was just saying that, yeah, after working for a long time with cricket frass, and especially when you're cleaning out the bins, it's just, there's so much like just dust in the air that in any environment, even if it was just you working out in the paddock with like grain, like you just gotta wear a mask because it's so full on. So we have added in the mask. Um, and then the other things we bring to the container with us, we've got these yellow tubs just here. And we also know that these weigh, we've just got a little note down here, they weigh 437 grams, these do. And then we have a scale, obviously. We put the two and two together, just like so. And we have our list. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to get all the large crickets together. And the way that we do that is we just have another tub. And because these bins are getting pretty empty, 
we're going to be cleaning them out like just completely and so I'm just going to clean out of like three or four bins just to see how many large crickets we get and yeah then I'll start packing them up. much no crickets in there and that's our oldest tub on the farm right so we've sold a bunch from there uh, we normally have about or well, maximum of 5,000 crickets in each of the tubs for larges so yeah you can obviously see that there's still a few in there running around but we don't really waste our time with trying to scrape up all those crickets like it just takes way too much time so I leave that for now and obviously I've got all these crickets here so I've probably got Oh, let's just go with like maybe 150 to 200 crickets in there. So that's going to pack up a few orders, but we need more than that. So we're then going to jump to this bin and hopefully we're going to get a few more crickets out of there. And then we have to go to there, we have to go to there. So we leave that for now because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to sieve all that frass and the feed out. And you would have seen that in previous videos of us actually having to sift out all the frass and that. So I'll actually grab that right now so you can just see what it is, it's just out here. But it's this thing, this thing just here. So this is just a, like a sieve, you know, you can see it's just got holes in it and then all the frost at the bottom there. And I'll do that at the end because obviously there's a lot of frost and feed in there. And it's a little bit messy to actually try and sieve all this stuff out and then get the crickets out because what we'll end up doing, and you'll see it later in the video, we just try and sieve as much as we can, and then if there's a bit of stuff still left in the sieve, we then just pour the uh, leftover waste and um, crickets onto, say, like a tray like this, and the, the tray goes into the container, just into some of the ones down there. The tray goes into the container, we put all the frass and the crickets on there, and then they just make their way off over like the next couple of hours, and that's just easier than trying to like sit there and pick out in each individual cricket. So that's the quickest way we do it. So I'm going to leave that, and now I'm going to clean out this bin just here. So after cleaning out a couple more bins, you can see the egg cartons down there. We got a lot more crickets, which is nice to see. So we're just going to chuck them in a sieve here because there is a fair amount of frass, and then we're just going to weigh them out, and I'll have to see if I can get any more. I'll just set the camera up right here. Frost left in there, maybe a little bit of. Uh, obviously, you can see the egg cartons in there, but anyway, you probably can't hear me very well because I've got my mask on because there's a fair amount of frost in the air, but yep, so that's all the crickets. So now I'll just put them back in that bin there. What I'll do is I'll grab you, bring you up here. I'll throw in a bit more space because I've just got this stuff here. Just sit that here for a little bit. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just trying to get a little bit more. Freedom here to move, firstly. But, we got our scales here that you can see. So, obviously, what we have to do now is just to turn it on. And I've got my list here of all the weights I need. Set it to zero. Pull the crickets in. So 
So we've got 525 grams. Uh, you probably can't see that very well on the camera, but that's what it looks like. But I'm gonna need a few more crickets. So what I'm gonna do, do now is I'm just gonna tip them into this bucket here for now. And they can just sit there for a bit. And I'm gonna have to go get another bin of crickets. And these guys are just gonna have to wait here for a little bit. Alrighty, so then all we have to do now is we put a few crickets into the bin here. That will be more than enough. That's 63 grams just there. I wanna try and aim for about 30 because I always like to put a few more extra crickets in. Uh, and that's just because obviously transport will kill a few crickets. So 31, that's close enough. So we've got a 26 gram order for this one. And we put 30 in, that just means we probably get an extra like 10 to 15 crickets. And that's just to account for any losses along the way. We then have our box. All right. We then get a pinch of food. And that's just the grain that we use on the farm. So it doesn't need much because obviously crickets don't eat a lot. We then have these awesome little gels that we use and these are just broken up. Uh, we did used to use oranges and you would have got oranges from us in the past but we've had some restrictions with some fruit fly stuff and we haven't been able to actually use oranges because uh, we can't send oranges out without them being tested so we just put some gels in there and those gels um, obviously crickets don't also they also don't drink a lot but they do need a little bit of water or moisture for the trip, so we've got the gels, because they normally take around about three days um, to get there. And then clear the way, we then got this little funnel here, like so, I then tip the crickets in, and they go in like that, and then just shake it, quickly shut it, I grab my tape, box it up, like so. And then obviously we've got some holes for ventilation along the sides, but I just have to do one more tape here. Along the edges there, because they will try and get out through that top corner. And yeah, that is one box. And then all we have to do is write on here, 26 grams, so we know what is what. It's a 26 gram box, and then all we do is just place it up the top, just there in the section. And now I've got to pack up the rest of these boxes here. So I'm just gonna get into it. Okay, so just had a quick little look on the computer. Um, and these were born at the end of April, so nearly in May. Um, now these are the large crickets, so in May, which makes them um, up until now, when the time of this video, we're in, what are we in, August the 15th. So they're around about four months old, which means they've probably got another two months of living. Now obviously transport can be quite tough for them, so some will die along the way, but it is pretty common for like large crickets. They, they don't travel as well as the younger ones. However, with that being said, um, the large crickets they, we always put a bit extra in there and then also we know that the crickets in our facilities live for another two months so um, reptile breeders should get a few more weeks out of these crickets um, if not a whole another month. So yeah, if anything um, to avoid like you know making sure you get the most crickets you pay for like a lot of people order mediums um, however then you've got to keep it for a lot longer and growing which is fine some people want to do that. But if you only order like small amounts at a time, then like the crickets have plenty of space in the boxes and yeah, they don't have many, um, many die, but obviously it is a big factor with packing up live crickets. So that's why we're also making a big push into human consumption because then yeah, we don't have to worry about the live crickets and there's obviously a lot of drama <laughs> in the reptile world with um, having crickets rock up alive. So anyway, that's, that's for another video. So. We are now gonna go get the medium, so these will be a lot easier to get because we just have to walk in there and grab a few egg cans and knock them off because there is only, what's two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. There's only 200 grams of medium crickets, which is nothing. So we are gonna go and get um, medium crickets because yeah, there's nothing, there's not a lot of medium sales because we put 
pretty much everything on hold with mediums because we've got no mediums left on the farm. It's only larges pretty much at the moment and some smalls and some pinheads. So we have to be careful with our population. And yeah, just because we've had a few farms in Australia go under with um, population. So the stress has been put onto all the smaller farmers like ourselves. So anyway, we're gonna get some mediums right now. So I, <laughs> I literally just grabbed this amount of crickets in, these are all mediums here. I grabbed them in about 30 seconds because like when you pick up one of these egg cartons there, there is just so many underneath. Look, look, at, look at them all under there, that's a pretty poor camera angle I know, um, but you literally like when you grab, um, like when you're grabbing mediums and smalls, like just because there's so many in the egg cartel, like you don't have to worry about trying to clean up all the bins, because um, that's obviously what took so long last time. You just have to, you know, knock a few off into a bin and look at all those mediums, it's just like, and there's only 200 grams, so it's not that many for us to sacrifice, but however, we do have to be really, really conscious of how many mediums we do give away, um, and that's just because, obviously you need your breeding stock, and if you're selling your mediums, you've got no larges, then you kill your breeding stock, which is why, we have to restrict the medium sales a lot earlier, earlier than we do with our large sales. So that's just the way it is. Okay, because you didn't really get to see how quickly the mediums got packed up, um, I'm in the second container now, I'm going some small crickets. So you're gonna have to use your imagination because it's a little bit difficult because we're standing on top of um, oh, like our trolley that we have. So it's a little bit hard for me to um, show you exactly what's going on when we pick the crickets up because there's no real place to put the camera but I've just got my tub here and I'm just going to show you how quickly we can actually get all the crickets that we need when we're grabbing small crickets because it's honestly bang that's two egg cans done oh just hit my camera can't be doing that I'll knock the camera off that's three egg cartons it's a little bit messy in here because we have grabbed pin, we have grabbed um, pinheads, we've also grabbed smalls out of here already. So it's four egg cartons, and then bang, a few more in there. I'll just get this last big one. I reckon we should have enough after that. Oh, maybe a few more actually. Here we go. Good one there. Good one there. And bang, that is done. So I'll turn the camera on here. Look at that. That is a crazy amount of small crickets just grabbed like that. So that is honestly how quick you can knock it out um, when you've got full bins. So there's still plenty of crickets even in there down the side there. You see them running around. So yeah, and then we just gotta be obviously careful with our population. Um, like I said before, um, I don't have my mask on either, so that's bad by me, um, but I wanted to talk to you guys, that's the thing. <laughs> All right, so now onto my favorite part, which is pinheads, because it's really, really easy to get. Literally, we just grab the egg cards like this, and we knock them off in here. Probably don't need that many, because you can barely even see them on the camera, I bet, anyway, but. Just off of like two egg cartons, you can then obviously see this is how many pinheads there are, and you can try and count them, but I might put a photo up right now, um, because if you have, I look at that photo that I've just got up now, that is one milliliters of crickets, and we're guessing it's about a thousand. It's pretty hard to count. So I'll quickly just shake this up, we then obviously want to try and get all the pinheads in there. And as you can see, that's as many as I can get in there. That is about five milliliters. So that is a lot of crickets. That's over 5,000 pinheads just in there, just in that little bit. Because they're so, so small. Now I can't leave them in there for very long because obviously they suffocate. So just get them back out into that tub real quick. And yeah, like that is just absurd how many pinheads you can get just off a small amount. Um, yeah, I'll show you exactly what the egg cartons kind of look like. So this is a bin of um, pinheads just here. And you can see all the pinheads just down there on the ground on the egg cartons, like it doesn't take very much. And then obviously these guys are still hatching along here. So 
Um, this is our most recent hatch. This is as of like yesterday, and then these guys would have been, well, what, four days before that. So they're a little bit bigger than a pinhead, but we need them to just be a little bit bigger than a pinhead so then they can actually travel because these guys are way too precious to travel. So now I'll go pack these pinheads up and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so the pinheads are slightly different because they're obviously a lot smaller. So we've got these little takeaway containers and we've just got some holes in the top here. We then obviously put a bit of food in there for them. They don't need a lot because obviously they are so, 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 so small. Um, we then get a small piece of egg carton that will fit in there. This one might be a little bit too big, I might have to break it in half again. As you can see, just like that. Just get it in there. Um, but that's obviously when we put the lid on. When we put the lid on there, it'll be nice and tight and packed down. I'll turn the camera down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here because you can't see anything at the moment. And then, now, this is the list of crickets that we got. So we only have 100 pinheads. Now that is such a small amount to measure out. Um, so what we literally just do is because it is impossible to try and get 100. We give them obviously a few extra as always. So I'm just gonna tip that in there like that. And what you'll see when I shake it, put this down here, you'll see that that is that's 2,000 crickets um, just there. So obviously this only needs 100, but because they're so small and some die during transport, I just gotta put a little gel in there as well. Because they're so small and they die during transport, we obviously just chuck a bunch in there like that. Now, there's about a mil left there, so I actually put a 1,000 pinheads in here. Um, now, because a lot of these will end up dying along the way, so we just want to make sure that people get what they pay for. And that is the best part about when you buy crickets from us, is you actually get what you pay for. So I'm just gonna clamp that on like that. So then the pinheads can't get out. And then what we actually do is we make sure that it's just sealed nice and tight so they can't get out. Now those egg cartons won't move around, but there are plenty of space in there. And then we just put that into a, another box because um, if we're selling, say like larges and pinheads together, we'll put them into, um, obviously we'll just pack them up into one of these larger boxes and we'll dedicate a section of it to the pinheads. But because these are individual pinhead orders, we have to ship, ship them in a separate box and we just can't, just can't ship them like this. That's just impossible. So we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make another box up and just put them in there. But that is how we get our pinheads out to our customers. So that one, yeah, that's a really easy order for us to pack up, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, I gotta make sure, I'll quickly just get these guys into another container because I don't want them to suffocate. I actually just might put them down and we'll go again. So yeah, that is the pinheads packed up. So small, mediums, large and pinheads all packed up now. Now all the crickets have been packed up. So you can see them all, that's the pinheads, the larges, the mediums and the smalls. Up there, now the fun and games begin. I've got all these addresses just here that I need to sort out. And yeah, so I just need to make sure I put all the correct orders together. So what I'll do is I'll actually just put the camera, let's just say, nice little spot right here. And I'll just pack all the orders up and I'll stack them in front of the camera so you can actually see what is happening.
course, something like this always happens. I've got all the orders here. Um, however, seems I've packed up one too many orders of small crickets and not enough medium crickets. So I am going to have to go grab a, another, yeah, I'm going to have to go grab another tub of mediums, <laughs> which happens every now and again. It's fine. Um, I have to just grab one more medium. It shouldn't take too long. Just a couple of knocks. It's only, what is it? It's only 20 grams of medium. So it'll take me two seconds to grab and yeah, I'll be back. All right. So I got that last, um, little medium order packed up. So as you can see here, these are all the orders. It's a fair few there. It's a pretty big week actually. This is our biggest week yet. Um, too wide. There's about 28 orders there and I actually made a few extra boxes just in case a few more orders came through last minute. So yeah, that's um, pretty much everything. That's how we pack up our crickets. So these guys should arrive to the customers by Wednesday, Thursday. We express post everything. And that way that just people get what they pay for with their crickets and obviously we're pretty open So if there are any issues with this kind of stuff, we we're pretty conscious of that and we, you know, we try and like help people out as best we can um, With it, you know, if something goes wrong, we then make sure we I don't know, just try and work it out Like if it was Australia Post's fault, or if it was our fault, the crickets died or whatever it might be. So yeah, we'll um Take these guys into the post office and then we just pretty much yeah, that's it. That's done. Alrighty, so yep, taking them into the post office and now that's pretty much the end of the video. So I hope you guys learned something, um, you know, maybe you've even got suggestions about how to pack up crickets easier. That's what we found works well for us. Um, it is a bit of a fiddly job, so what can you do? Um, really, that's just how it is and yeah, like um, if you have any questions, please leave it below. But if not, we'll see you in the next video. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye.